and example three. So we're told the accelerating torque of a turbine rotor is 250 newton meters. We are asked to determine the gain in kinetic energy of the rotor while it turns through 100 revolutions. If the moment of inertia of the rotor is 25 kilograms meter squared, and the speed at the beginning of the 100 revolutions 450 rpm, determine its speed at the end. All right. So. Uh, the formulae that we may use, I've put them down here, and uh, the question is reproduced here with the, the data given to us highlighted. So the first part, um, we have 250 newton meters and we have 100 revolutions. So, <clears throat> The kinetic energy gained is equal to the work done by the accelerating torque of 250 newtons over 100 uh, revolutions. So work is force by distance, which is F times S. I'm using S here because it's a circular distance. Uh, that distance S is the radius R times theta. So S is equal to r times theta. So the work is the force times s, which is force times theta times r. f by r is torque, so the work is torque times theta. We're told the torque is 250 newtons. The revolutions is 100. So uh, the angle here, if I've done, um, the angle here at theta is, is in radians. So if I have uh, done 100 revolutions, so there's 2 pi radians in the revolution. So it's 2 by pi by 100 is the is the, the angle. Okay, because I've gone around a, a number of times. So 100 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi. And when I put that in, I get 157.08 kilojoules. Okay, that was the first part of the question. The second part of the question was to work out what was the uh, RPM at the end. So, the initial kinetic energy is given by, so kinetic energy is half omega squared I. So, we were told that the um, the shaft. Um, I'm going to just go back to the question here. We're told if the moment of inertia of the rotor is 25 kilograms and the speed at the beginning of the 100 revolutions is 450 RPMs. Okay, so we're, we're told that this is 450 RPMs. Um, so the kinetic energy is 450. I have to convert that to omega, so it's revs per minute, so divided by 60 revolutions per second, multiply by 2 by to bring it to radians per second. So it's that squared. I was 25 and uh, that's our half. So originally the, the shaft had um, a kinetic energy of 27.76 kilojoules. We gave it extra energy, so we, we just determined in the, the last uh, part of the question, and I'll just go back yeah, we, we, we've given it some extra work, some extra energy. So we've given it 157.08 kilojoules. So we're going to add that 157 kilojoules to the 27.76 kilojoules that it had. So its total kinetic energy now is 184.84 kilojoules. And that kinetic energy is equal to half times omega squared i. So 184, the kinetic energy is equal to half omega squared times i. Um, we know i is 25, so I just solve for that equation. So multiply by 2 and then divide by 25 and get the square root of it. And I get the final uh, angular velocity as 121.6 radians per second. And that works out to be 1161 revs per minute. So that will be the final uh, speed.